Hello everyone, welcome to BSP Solution. Today we are going to talk about the eligibility batch process for the performance document and how the batch process work and then we can run the eligibility batch process. So let's start today's tutorial. You can run the eligibility batch process to determine which standard and any time performance document uh, pop population of workers is eligible to use for their performance evaluation. Use the batch process to process eligibility for a specific performance document for all workers in an organization. So once you run this process to determine employee eligibility, this is what happens. So whenever you create a standard performance document, they are created only for eligible employees. You can create a standard performance document at the time of running the eligibility process or later. Okay. And any time performance document are available for creation only for eligible employees. So by default, those with the performance management administration duty and performance management implementation duty can run the batch process. So the next question is how the batch process works. So the batch process evaluate the workers population for a specific performance document and select those workers who are eligible based on the eligibility profile criteria. The eligibility profile used to determine eligibility for a performance document are those associated with the performance document period in the performance template. So, the eligibility batch process determine eligibility for active as well as suspended assignment of the entire worker populations. So, worker with more than one assignment can be eligible for a different performance document for each assignment. Okay. So now we are going to run the eligibility batch process for the check-in template. Okay. So let's just go to the application and perform this task. So I'm logging as an HR specialist. Then we have to go to the my client group. And then you can go from the quick action. I'm just going this time to the from the app. Just click on the performance app. Okay, then here under the setup and maintenance, you can find the uh, eligibility batch process. Here we have two options assign performance document. So this batch process we already created. Then this is the assigned check-in template. So now we are going to create this one. Okay, so you can run the eligibility batch process to determine which population of worker is eligible to use check-in template for creating check-in document. So the batch process evaluates the worker population for a selected date and determine which worker are eligible based on the eligibility profile criteria. The batch process analysis the worker population based on the worker assignment for the selected date. Worker with more than one assignment can be eligible for the same check-in template or a different one for each assignment. So when the eligibility process is complete, the template are available to worker and their managers to create check-in documents. So by default, those with the performance administration and performance implementation duty can run the batch process. So now let's create this assigned check-in template. So here we have to uh, select the assign check-in template under the batch process type. Okay, then uh, choose to be notified when uh, when the process ends. Enable notification beforehand to receive this notification. Okay. So, Here we have the effective as of date. So this is mandatory. It determines when a worker population is eligible for check-in template. If you set a future date, eligible employees can create 
चेक इन डॉक्यूमेंट फ्रॉम दैट डेट एंड नॉट बिफोर दैट ओके तो फॉर शेड्यूल प्रोसेस सिलेक्ट करेंट डेट टू यूज द सिस्टम डेट एवरी टाइम द प्रोसेस रन ओके देन वी हैव द रिव्यू पीरियड सो सिलेक्ट द रिव्यू पीरियड ऑफ द चेकिंग टेम्पलेट जस्ट लाइक दिस इज ऑलरेडी सिलेक्टेड ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी थ्री एनुअल साइकिल ओके देन द चेक इन टेम्पलेट नेम सो सिलेक्ट द टेम्पलेट दैट यू वॉन्ट टू असाइन टू द वर्कर हु मीट द एलिजिबिलिटी क्राइटेरिया you can see there is a option for some templates let's select this one okay now this is the option for historic performance management eligibility so choose whether to permanently delete historic performance eligibility status data to improve the system performance okay then there is स्टेटस डेटा यस ओके देन देर इज अ पर्स डेटा ओल्डर देन द पर्स एनी डेटा ओल्डर देन द स्पेसिफिक डेट ओके सो क्लिक एडवांस टू सेटअप शेड्यूलिंग एंड नोटिफिकेशन प्रिफरेंस और फॉर क्रिएटिंग द नोटिफिकेशन ओके एंड देन क्लिक प्रोसेस ऑप्शन टू स्पेसिफाई your language territory time zone and other preference okay and then just click on the submit so i'm just going to click on the submit if you want to uh, create the notification so you can create here here you can see that notify me when this process ends you this is the notification If you want to create the notification, go to the notification, then click on the create option. Okay. Now, let's just go to the base. Let's click on the submit. Click OK, and then click on the monitor process. Okay. Let's click on the refresh. So this is our eligibility batch process. Let's hit the refresh button until it's succeeded. It's now running. Let's just click on the. Okay, so now it succeeded. You can see here. Okay, so this is how we can run the eligibility batch process for the checking template. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this topic is clear to you.